what 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 happened in halftime? Did you say something to yourself, or what what was kind of the process that made you have nineteen in the second half? Uh, honestly, this game was just bigger than myself, bigger than my teammates. It was bigger than all of us, honestly. So when I went in, going into the halftime, I really just told myself normally, like I got to do whatever to get my guys going, get get whatever I do, whatever I can to provide whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but I was just thinking when we had to make this statement because we haven't won against a ranked team in the preseason since 2012. So I feel like we just had to make this statement for the rest of our fans back home. Dave? Hey, X, for a while there, it was just you and Javon doing all the scoring. What, what, I know he comes off the bench, but coach says he's still a starter. What, what does he bring you guys in a performance like this? Uh, I mean, he brings leadership, accountability. I mean, he brings everything. He's like a kind of Draymond Green type of player. He's the leader of the team. He's, he does it all. He rebounds. He try, He brings the energy. And I mean, as like you said, he did a lot of scoring. I mean, it's just all energy for him. As long as he come with the energy, it's good for him on offense and defense. Mitch? X, I know, uh, you know, Oregon was was pressuring you all a lot a lot tonight. What what does it say about I guess your all's you know roster makeup and and you know having these guards that uh, that you all were able to to you know run at a high pace and and beat the press, but also only turn the ball over seven times. Um, I mean, it just shows the growth and the maturity in our team. Honestly, I mean, me and Drew, of course, is a good backcourt. Then you add Mark with his ability to dribble the ball. Now he, I feel like people underestimate. Mark's ability to handle the ball. I mean, he is like a good guard. He's not going to just turn it over. And then we got Bugs, of course, and he comes right in and does the same thing as Drew and, Drew and I. So I feel like we just – it shows on the court. The growth shows, and Coach Martin does a tremendous job of, I mean, putting us in the worst situations in practice so that in the game we can go through it smoothly. Uh, Colin? Hey, X, uh, just, you know, it, it looks like you have a lot of fun out there when you're breaking a press and, and just kind of able to weave through traffic like that. Just Is it fun for you out there and, and kind of what's going through your head as you're, as you're working to beat a press, even if you're just doing it by yourself? Um, honestly, I don't know. I love, I love presses because it's kind of easier to break because we have, I mean, if you break the press, there's more opportunities on the other side of the court because you got the guys still coming in and running. So with my speed, I try to just beat everyone up the floor, hurry up and pitch it ahead. But I mean, like Coach said, don't just sit there and play around with the press. Don't sit there and try to dribble through it and try to look good. Just pass it or dribble through it if you can. So, I mean, that was the objective from the start. Sweezy. X, just what did this win kind of mean for you guys? It seemed like last year there there were a few times where you guys just kind of came up short, um, especially on maybe the road. I guess it's not quite the same today, but what did this win kind of mean just for you guys to pull it out? I mean, this win, I mean, for me, honestly, for the whole team, it was just kind of history. Like I said, I mean, we didn't beat a ranked team in the preseason since 2012. And, I mean, we just deserved it. Our fans deserved it even though they can't be here with us right now. I feel like the whole organization deserve, deserve this win, I feel like. And we just all laid it all out on the line and did what we had to to get the win. Ben Fredrickson? Um, you, you said you wanted to make a statement with this this victory. Um, what do you think that statement is about this team, that you guys could, could go win a game like this? The statement is that, I mean, as long as we – follow our principles and believe in one another and believe in a coach, we can go as far as coach takes us. Joel? Hey, X. Uh, you guys play Illinois in about 10 days. Uh, that's another high-ranked team, probably one of the better teams in the country. How does this win have you feeling confident and what? how does it change the dynamic going into that game? Uh, it, do it doesn't change our – our dynamic, I mean, pretty much it just changed you guys' dynamic of the level of competition we can take. I feel like with us, it's just, I mean, it's the same thing. We just going for three years in a row. I feel like we we got them twice. So the plan is that we have to come out with three. So that's just the plan for now. CJ? 
Hey, X, be, because you guys have been through some stuff these last couple of years, you know, and, and how much more gratifying is it to, to now see it all come to start to come together and, and, and have this, you know, even though it's early, have this success? Man, we was just talking about that. If you think about it, last year around this time, we was playing Xavier, I think, and that was another ranked team we lost after being up, like going down towards the end of the game. So, I mean, just to come back this year and really just start off right and start off solid, I feel like it's everything. Everybody did everything they could. Everybody tried to get one extra rebound, one extra assist, one extra bucket if possible, one extra charge. And, I mean, everybody laid it out on the line. So I feel like it's way more gratifying in every, in every kind of way. Uh, Mason? X, so with an early season ranked win away from Mizzou Arena, how does that affect the team's morale moving forward? Uh, honestly, it just, it's a confidence booster for us and some of the guys who I feel like, I don't know. Really, I just feel like it's a confidence booster, though. It's it shows us that if we do what we what we know we should do and we stick to our principles, like I said before, I mean, it's really too much that can't keep up with that. If we're locked in and like they kept punching back later in the game and even in the beginning, but we didn't get on our heels. We didn't look around at each other like, dang, what's going? We all just stayed. 10 toes down, and I feel like we all just kept punching and kept punching as much as we could. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Um, all right. Questions if you want. Dave? Hey, Javon, when uh... – Drew and then Mark are in a little foul trouble with a lot of time left. Did, you guys didn't seem to panic or anything. What what's what's going on with the team at that point uh, when you still got about nine minutes to go? Oh, uh, you know everybody on the sideline just uh, just saying just stay focused. Uh, we got a lot of guys that can go out there and compete, do the things that we need to do. Um, you know, like everybody keeps saying, we're an older team, so um, you know we got guys that have been here before. So just going out there, playing our game, uh, not changing anything, going out there and do what we can do best, uh, just playing hard. Good. Yeah, Javon, I, when Oregon got within five, I think X hit about a 23, 24-footer there from the top of the key. Has he kind of developed into a guy that that really seeks the ball out, that that wants kind of that moment when the other team's making a charge? Oh, uh, yeah, that was a great shot. Um, you know, at our, he's our point guard. Um, he's been working on his shot a lot. Uh, you know, I think it was a pick and roll play and, um, he came off of it and knocked the shot down. It was a great shot. Um, you know, he could do those type of things. Um, you know, he just doing whatever he needs to do to help the team win. Ben Hawking. Um, Conzo was saying, Javon, that numerous players on the team like guarding the best player on the other team. When you hear that or when you see that, how does that make you feel as a teammate? Uh, make you feel good. Uh, just knowing that guys want to step up to the plate, um, go out there and challenge themselves. Um, they feel like they can do what's best for the team. Um, whenever another guy gets tired, just knowing that we got somebody else that can go out there, uh, go out there and take that challenge. So uh, it's, it's real good. We work on defense a lot. We got a lot of good defensive players on our team. So just going out there and um, – just helping out one another on the defense end. Javon, you all shot 21 threes, I think, in the first half. But then in the second, uh, it seemed like UNX were doing a lot of your damage getting to the basket. Um, was that a clear directive from the, the coaching staff at halftime, or was that just, just taking kind of what the, uh, the Oregon defense gave you all? Uh, really just taking what the defense gave us. Um, they was telling us we were going get, to get, get our shots, just be patient and stuff. Uh, once the press was broken, we was able to um, get to the basket, get those layups, um, just make those baskets around. I mean, those shots around the basket. So uh, it all just planned out well with the press. Yeah, uh, Eric? Over the past couple of years, Javon, it seemed like this team is in a couple injuries away from really doing something productive and getting closer to the tournament. 
now that you guys are 2-0, and and especially after this one, does it feel like it's the start of something grand? I know it's early in the season, but does it feel like this is the right way to do things for you guys? Oh, yeah, we've been excited uh, ever since that we came back with one another, um, making sure that we're um, doing the right things with our body, making sure that we're um, staying healthy. You know, that's always a big part, like you just said. Um, just making sure that we staying connected, going out there, uh, you know, doing the right things whenever we off the court, wearing our masks, so we can all be together. We know how special this group can be. And so that's just our main objective. Uh, anything else, Jamal? Nope. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Appreciate thanks, it. y'all. Right. I like how Ben Arnett's been on TV and, and all in the time that we've been on this. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you back at home.